Oh my. Welcome back to another video. We are over in one of them amazing little places where you're in the middle of like a little housing estate and these little gems are in these little garages. And this is a home built hero and I love these because they're, as a people who know watch my channel, I love Group B cars. So let's introduce the Phase 1 Renault 5 Turbo 2 and I love it. Let's dive in. What's the story behind it? it a replica? Just a replica, yeah. Started as a Gardini shell? No, just 1.1. 1 .1. Right. What was the goal? Have you always wanted one of these? No, I uh, I lost my son five years ago. Car crash. He was a big car enthusiast. I've always promised him that I'd build him a car. So, really, it's a tribute to him. Right. And I think this was his dream? It was, yeah. Right. Um, awesome, mate. When I lost my uh, son, I had a stroke a couple of months later, which put me not out of action, but I couldn't do a lot on the car, but I still worked on it for, it took me five years, because it took me two years to get right. Yeah, I can so, imagine, yeah, yeah, I can imagine. This is beautiful. Because didn't you own the Clio with the Cosworth? Yeah, I built that as well. Did you build that? Did you build it all in here? Yeah. Wow. I was telling lad because I said, I remember that car, I didn't know who owned it, I remember that car. I've done everything in here, welding, the lot. I'm a Group B fan, as, as a lot of people are. Can you buy a kit? Because I've been told you can buy the chassis legs and all that type of stuff already yeah. pre-built for these things. I bought the uh, chassis, everything from um, Gemini Racing in um, Sl Slovenia, Slovakia. Okay. He actually produced all the legs suspension we've got big brakes on it he did all that and i did all the welding but he sent me like plans well, so, yeah what you cut out and what you leave in yeah and what you weld up and the engine is that the original what no that's a renault 21 turbo engine right okay translate yeah 21 right what, the, what did they come with originally what they could took the turbo twos um i think with the, the with, one with the one fours right yeah oh it's got the bigger turbo on it as well hasn't it yeah, it's Should got the GT30 on it. How long has it been done for? How long has it been completed now? Well, I've just got the roof lining to put in, but it's been more or less completed for about nine months. Wow. But I've, I've never I've never drove it. Have you not? No. Why? I don't know. My oldest son's drove it. And you will drive it, Venter? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. More sentimental. <laughs> more sentimental for the purpose. Like I said, I've built everything, even the loom. I've made a loom up myself on the bench. So so when you buy the kit, I take it you can buy all the arches, the full, it comes with a full package, arches, bonnet, everything. Yeah, you get everything. I mean, everything bolts on and you can right. check everything off. Like the rear wings, they come off. Side skirts come off. Everything comes off. This is stunning. It's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's just something you don't see, you know. here now anyone who can say to me that the modern cars and this electric area is the way forward and doesn't look at this thing and think this is absolutely perfect is not a petrol in my eyes because this thing 
is stunning. As you are aware, these are probably other, oh, they're, they're all fiberglass panels. The original ones will have been something like carbon Kevlar. Obviously with the reproductions nowadays, the fiberglass and this one is a fiberglass replica from a company called gemini motorsport always as we know the genuine cars are probably i don't know nowadays half a million quid if not more for a genuine car so these guys are doing a full replica kit all in fiberglass even to the point of the wheels are uh, they are the original design for this car and if i'm honest the deep dish looks absolutely beautiful on this it suits the arches so well. I also like the fact of the colour. The colour suits the car, suits the curves, it suits the shape. I'll be honest, there is not a thing on this I would probably change. So to tell you a little bit about these for people who are, who are new, these were classed as, they had to build a certain amount to enter Group B Rally. So they made, I think they think it was 500 or 200, in fact it was 200, 200 road version of the Group B car so they could use the shells, the setups, for the rallying so these would come with rear engine rear wheel drive and this one as a replica is as again gone down rear engine rear wheel drive as you can see the body panels the flares the vents all the gaps the arches where everything just where the air can flow through is absolutely beautiful and functional because if you look through there if you can see on the camera it's actually there to cool the engine as a proper, not just for looks, for purpose. Again, front wings have the vents on and looking at the bonnet, all the light pods all built in, the vents, everything to assist with airflow. Now, I don't know back then whether they did air, <laughs> air um, wind tunnel testing, but all I can say is the design of this thing is absolutely beautiful and it's a real privilege to come and see one of these in the flesh because you very even replicas you don't see many of them around group b replicas have become rare never mind the originals and for anyone who has been in the car scene for a long period of time will remember this car this was charlie's original build which was a Clio dimmer with a Cosworth engine. This isn't just, you know, his first build, he's built a few. Let's dive in and let's look at some more of the internal bits that have been done on this car. Look at this monstrous white transmission tunnel at the front, which gives so little room for your three pedals. Totally, you know, early 80s carpet red because this is factory gordini carpet factory gordini dash which is in super lovely condition obviously the two bucky seats some trim panels just to hide some bits and pieces again still a labor of love still some work to be done now the gear selector is off a gt40 and he's extended this so it's a bit more nicer to work look at these roller gears that are in there so it can roll side to side and Oh, that is, it's really nice little piece of engineering, that. He's also converted the gearbox on the Renault 11 engine in the rear to cable shift, aluminium door. Just brings back the 80s nostalgia. Well, what I like is you go down these little estates and then you have these little gems that are just sat. sat. This one was me Cosworth, the yeah. Cleo. That's me old his son's car and that's me son who died. That's his car. Do you remember that? Because I like say, I always remember because it had the turbo at the bonnet. Yeah, and you scoot right, yeah. over the top there. Top the, um, the biggest turbo you could get was with the 42 at the time. Right. But uh, it had nitrous on it as well. Because you mean, was it about 550 horsepower, wasn't it? Um, 650. 650. You want a drink or anything? No, I'm fine, thank you. What's blown me away massively with this is the company called Gemini Racing. They supply the full kits to build these replicas. Obviously, prices will change as as these videos you know time wise videos come out of you depending on when you're watching it but the amount of stuff the guy supplies which is technically makes your life easier i've just been through his facebook page and to be fair it's very very impressive what he supplies so what you get is as part of the kit is you get both full of, let's say rear uh chassis chassis sections there and there it comes with bottom arms it comes with parts of the uprights you can literally go to the guy and he will make hubs and brakes he will do anything you want to do as much or as little as you need if you look at that full area that looks absolutely 
factory as he comes. So this full section is supplied by that Gemini Racing and you basically weld it to your Renault 5. But again, it comes with full chassis legs. I can't show you, I'll have to put some pictures on the video. It comes with everything. I'm blown away by it. Roughly, just to give a rough idea, I think the body kit is around 4,000, 4,500 plus the 2,500 for the actual welding sections. That's not a lot of money to be to getting a lot of a lot of the parts needed to make one of these replicas. And as I said in the video, I did get it wrong. It's a turbo maxi. But hey, as I say, through this video, I might be saying the wrong things and people might pick up on. I do apologize. Renault 5 Turbo 2s, Maxes, that type of thing are not really my forte. I'm more of the Audi Group B guys, as people will know. But let's dive in and let's have a look. So this runs the Renault 11 turbo engine. Aftermarket tubular manifold with a GT30 turbo turbo smart external gate i think he's going to downsize this because it's only around 200 horsepower so the turbos are a bit too big a bit too laggy obviously fuel injection the engine six th this way so the gearbox is behind if you look i said look over so the gearbox is behind with the two drive shafts either side again to assist the weight in front of the axle but to look in here it is absolutely just a really nice tidy build the original roll going cars had a section which covered over here with the carpet on to basically try and sound deaden it a little bit but as charlie will tell you and i will tell you there's nothing better than having a giant engine and turbo two foot from your head whistling away with no firewall so as part of the kit which you've kind of realized and i've asked the questions is it comes with all this welding section here all this welding section here because the original Renault 5 had conventional strut tops because obviously I was always I was thinking well if it was a 1.4 it would have to be a very small 1.4 because the steering rack sits halfway in between the engine bay suspension is very narrow inbound so I was wondering how they would have got the engine that way uh, in that bay but it turns out that that comes as part of the kit. Another interesting little fact is the Turbo 2s and the Maxis, this type of uh, iteration of the Renault 5, was six inches longer. So that is shown by this light panel because technically this is supposed to sit flush with this edge. So that goes inside there and that goes inside there and it all closes up. But because of what the body kit and the how these were built, it was all spaced out. Hence, having them space it out. And just to look at all the little ducting there, the one on the wing, the one on the quarter. 80 styling, I'm sorry, 80 styling is fantastic. There's nothing like it. These are reproductions of the factory turbo two wheels, the deep dish on the front and the non-deep dish on the, sorry, the deep dish on the rear and the non-deep dish on the front suit this styling absolutely mega i don't think i could have picked a better wheel the front brakes have been converted to what look like tarox six pots so not only is this gonna have a little bit of poke with being so light it's also going to stop very well because he's fitted the servo assist from the gardini as well as having such giant brakes we're still talking and we're talking about survivor cars and what you have to buy to make replicas and we've just laughed and joked because Anyone who knows this, who builds these types of cars and finds these types of projects, the ones that always survive are the ones that no one wants. So this one started life as a 1.1. Are you waiting for it? In gold. Who the hell would want a Renault 5 1.1 in gold we've got the bonnet on just to show you what what it's all around and this kind of goes to when the group b rally era was it was all about giant lights to see where you were going but obviously now everything is molded into the bonnet into this vent and obviously that's the fuel filler cap because obviously as normally with the rear wheel rear engine cars the fuel tank is always in the front there's nothing better than 80s styling group b rally look this is the pinnacle for me of what cars should look like. So I'm gonna sign this one off. Very nostalgic. Really, really nice to see one of these old Group B replicas because who doesn't love a Group B car? Really nice story with the car. 
really nice build. I do apologize guys if I've got some technical details wrong. I don't know everything. I'm trying my best just to bring these cars to you, these different builds. I'm trying my best to point these things out. If I have got something wrong, I'm sure you guys will put it in the comments, but you've got to admit, this thing is 1010. It is beautiful. I don't think there is much I would change and I would love to see this going down the road in the future. So maybe that might be a future collaboration where when I finish my short wheelbase Audi Quattro Group D build, me and Charlie meet up and we go for the drive on the road where you can see two Group B cars pottering down, going for the pub for the pint and maybe a bit of Sunday dinner. So we'll sign this one off. I'll see you all on the next one.